Hello folks, you're very welcome to Railway Village just north of Dundalk in County Louth. I'm here today to show you a beautiful, it's a stunning home. It's set on a large elevated site overlooking Dundalk Bay. So any day, any time of the year, from here you're going to enjoy magnificent views. But it's not just what's beyond the property that's gorgeous. The house inside and the beautifully landscaped and patioed area outside also gives so much interest to this property. I'm here in the open plan kitchen, dining, living area and as you can see it's light filled and it's beautiful. Whether you're sitting enjoying summertime sunshine outside or warm cosy open fire inside there's so much to enjoy in this property. This is a four to five bedroom property there's a lot to show you as we go around so I'm looking forward to pointing out some important things. As always, thank you for joining the virtual viewing. I hope that you do enjoy it. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to arrange a viewing, then please do get in touch with us because we'd love to meet you out here. Uh, let's get started over at the front door. So we're going to go and have a look inside now. And before I do, just give you a context of the outside of the property. Uh, the property is really, although it ha it's, it's open in aspect, it's actually very private. There's nobody sitting looking in on any part of this property, either at the front sides or the back. And especially when you see the gorgeous um, patio area outside, that's really important. So here we are at the front door. It's a really nice, really welcoming uh, front door with lovely uh, planting. Um, structured planting on either side. A handsome front door is really important, particularly at this level of the market. Nice canopy overhead too, and into the entrance hallway. It's fantastic. Now, this hallway basically speaks to what you can expect from the rest of the property. Very impressive travertine marble floors run through most of the ground floor. It gives lovely continuity to the home, but it also gives lovely bounce on the natural light. And as we go through it, you're going to see there is an immensity of light in this property. Now, here in the entrance hallway, it's beautiful, but it's also quite functional. Um, you've got here very cleverly uh, hidden away behind lovely carpentry is and joinery is the um, cloakroom and a nice vanity area there but a lovely display space as well and again really nicely downlit. The stairs come with the um, clear panels along the sides which also give opportunity for the light to travel through the property and you're going to see motifs like that throughout the property. Now so there we have where we've just come in. Okay. On the ground floor, there are three enclosed reception rooms, one of which could easily be repurposed as a fifth bedroom if that were important. But here we are in the first, and this is effectively uh, the cinema room. So you can see there the projector, which is down at the moment. It can also be tucked away, rolled away, and the projector there and the screen opposite. It's a lovely shallow bay window here. And if you can see, just outside there, beyond the lawn, that's over to Dundalk Bay beyond. So you have a beautiful, a magnificent vantage point for enjoying the, the surrounding area. And also I'll show you as well, if you see over there, um, we're set down at the bottom of the mountain as well. So it's a lovely combination. Every window that you look out of in this property, there's something fantastic to see. You can see here, particularly in this uh, room, that there is um, a lowered ceiling, a, a margin ceiling with a back backlighting there, which gives a lovely kind of very calm way to light the room, particularly given the, um, the projection on here. So um, you can also just to point out, it's wired for surround sound. Dual aspect, or maybe even arguably triple aspect. Again, great cabinetry here for storage. Um, the storage is really well thought out actually throughout the house. So that is your first reception room. And there also you can see recessed uh, fire feature there. So coming back out to the entrance hallway, the next reception room is functioning as an office, which I can show you through photos. And here, even under the stairs is really smartly presented and it just shows that when you have an open plan hallway like this um, 
displaying the home really nicely through little features such as this writing desk really enhance the property and show it off the way that it should be. I'm going to give you a little look into the guest bathroom here. Really nice space. Love that that tile is continuing through the bathroom because folks never neglect your guest WC. Lovely sanitary wear there as well. Really nicely presented little spot. We're carrying on down now to the third reception room, but en route, I'm going to give you a little look at perhaps the most impressive utility room that I've seen in ages. Uh, really nicely um, organized in terms of all of its uh, storage and everything really easy to get at as well, which can be easier said than done in many utilities. So I liked that a lot. And now through these double doors, we're going into the next reception room and what we call the games room. So really smart space. First off, space for a really good billiards table. Uh, that would entice anybody to pick up a cue and have a go. Um, again, our aspect here is looking, as with the other reception room, out to the front garden and straight out to the, sh to, to the sea outside. And inside, there's just, it's even just as lovely to look at inside. So in this room, this room is very nicely zoned. Okay, you have this lovely modular sofa here which is dividing off the room between watching the TV space and having a game of pool space. Okay, so you can see there, there's so much space that that's a really big chunky suite. Let me go down so that you can see that. Really big chunky suite and plenty of room for it. And of course with the double doors, you can close those over and make as much noise in here having a game of pool or watching TV as you like. So if you think about it, the, route, the property is very nicely laid out because none of these reception rooms sort of impose upon one, each, one another. They all have their own sense of space. I love that room. You know that I love coordinating lamps actually. And just to point out, the two lamps on either side of that chimney rest work an absolute treat and really set that space off. Now we're down to this magnificent open plan area. This is, um, not only is it triple aspect, but it's also triple usage. So we have immediately beside us here a very well appointed, fully equipped kitchen, really nice shaker style, fantastic big gas hob there, okay, and extractor. And then at the other side, you'll see there double integrated oven with microwave. And then here on the island, you have, you know, you have your dishwasher and you have more plumbing there. And then over at this other side of the room, space for your fridge freezer and for further storage. There is so much storage in this kitchen and also all set off really nicely by the black granite top there. Uh, really nicely downlit as well. Uh, focus lighting in a kitchen is so important so that you can actually see what you're doing. And then I love this little coffee dock area here uh, to sit and enjoy that aspect of the garden. But this space is a bit of wow, okay? It's the, the design is perfect. We're looking at towards the west. So basically you're getting a southern, western and sunset light coming in here. Anytime I've been in this room, there's a lovely light in it. And you can see there, it's very smartly zoned. It's split level. So on one side here, you have space for a very substantial dining suite. That's, I think, a 10 seater. It's rare to see it and I love to see it working so well. And then over at the other side, uh, a lovely bespoke seating area, uh, which is adjacent to the gorgeous cozy fire. So even if it's Baltic outside or even if it's lashing rain outside, it's still lovely in here. Now I'm going to show you the garden separately, but just look at that space. It's absolutely lovely. The triple aspect, the design of the room is really crucial here because as I say, light runs throughout this house and does so very well. Um, and then modern doors, modern sliding doors there, give you access to um, the very smartly designed patio outside and bespoke sofa area there also to really maximize every inch of that space. So as I say, on ground floor level, um, three reception rooms plus this lovely big open plan area. And again, with the continuity of the tile running through the ground floor, it makes an enormous difference to the finish of the property. Beautiful uh, woodwork and carpentry throughout as well. Mm. 
Now, let's have a look at the first floor. Some really important features to point out to you here, starting with this fantastic feature window. So what this window is doing is allowing plenty light into the first floor. And also, thanks to this very clever design here, you'll see uh, the glass units uh, running along the stairs. This is allowing the light to really get through the whole area. And as a result, the first floor is filled with light. Uh, it's also a very comfortable space thanks to the underfloor heating at first floor level. Now, underfloor heating at first floor level is not a sort of a standard feature. It's quite exceptional and it's a fantastic one. And remember, this house was built as a one-off house rather than as a development. So there are a lot of extra features. And you're looking here at things like the cabinetry, the carpentry, um, the joinery finish throughout. You can see it especially at first floor. It really sets this space apart. So again, in the first floor, as you can see, all of the, there's four rooms at this level and um, all working very well. You'll see a great sense of proportion. We'll head on in now to the into the main bathroom, which has massive wow factor. It's gorgeous, fully tiled and beautifully tiled with the most impressive um, tub um, jet bath that I have seen in a long time. It is definitely a spot where you would be delighted to get your bubble bath going. Really nice little features, your little recesses and so on, which set it apart. It feels like a spa rather than your home main bathroom. Fantastic um, paired um, sanitary wear here in, this, in the vanity unit. And again, that mirror helping to bounce the light around the room. Look at that. It's just so nicely done and so smart. And around here then, a separate shower and it's a walk-in shower. So again, you know, really using the space very well, but really showing off this, this sort of showpiece bathroom. This is definitely a tub that you would be happy to spend time in. So now we're going to go on to the first of the bedrooms upstairs. This is a lovely, really, really big, double bedroom, you can see there, um, plenty space. You know, it's important when you see, for example, plenty space around the bedside lockers that there's great proportions and there, um, lovely light as well. Now, I want to point out to you here, you will spot the green area to the rear and the beautiful view of the mountain behind, but that green area means that nothing else will be built there. So your sense of privacy and space is not going to be invaded. Nobody's looking in to the, to the rooms here, which really adds to the, 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 the excellent location and pitch and, and setting of this house. So there you have it, a lovely big room. And just when you see around from the other side, plenty, plenty space. If you wanted to put in built-in wardrobes, additionally, you could. We're into the ensuite. This is in fact what they call a Jack and Jill ensuite, which is to say it's accessed from two bedrooms. It's a huge ensuite. I mean, it's absolutely massive. Look at the shower, beautifully tiled, fantastic rainforest shower accessories there. I, you know, I love to point out a lovely shower. Um, and you can see there, there's plenty of space. Continuing um, the theme of really high quality sanitary fittings, also, little tip there, I love the enclosed plumbing on the, on the WC. And hey, what a view from the throne. I mean, look, imagine. Also, of course, nobody again is near you, so there's a lovely sense of space there. On into the next bedroom. Again, massive size. You can see there, there's plenty of room for your storage, <clears throat> whether you're going freestanding or whether you're going to go for built-in storage. <coughs> We're at the front of the house here and worth having a little look out. Look, you get a view of the shore from here. Now, it's super windy out there today. I wouldn't be fancying uh, a swim or a sail out there. It'd be fairly choppy. Um, but again, you're seeing the benefit of the elevated site. It's just such a treat and such a joy to be able to see that site from so many aspects of the house. Um, so again, nobody's looking in towards you. Lovely sense of privacy. Another really important thing to point out in this room, you can see there, there's a study corner, plenty of space for accommodating your desk, a chair, computer, what have you. Great Wi-Fi in this house as well. There's a few people who are able to 
you know, when you see people working from home and studying from home, you know you've got great Wi-Fi. Super, super space throughout here. Room for a decent sized TV there as well. So heading back on out, worth pointing out to you the abundance of storage available in this property. Thermostat there so that you can locally control things, but great storage here, nicely tucked away there. Lots of shelving space and the width as well, really important. You can really see what you've got there. It's uh, easy to access. On then to bedroom number three of the first floor. Again, a lovely double room. We're at the front of the house. This is a very pretty room, uh, very sweet to look at. Um, again, lovely view from here, as you can see looking out. And, you know, again, options here with regard to whether you're going freestanding or built in on the storage. A lovely room, lovely, lovely room. And again, plenty of room for your furnishings. And finally upstairs into the main suite. This is a really impressive space. You're going to be taking a lot of boxes in this room, folks. So first off, the sleeping area, you can see it's, it's dual aspect first off at the front of the house and at the side of the house and plenty, plenty space, um, especially if having space for a large bed, a six foot bed, if that is on your wish list, then you will definitely have that wish granted here. I love the feature wallpaper setting there, really nice to look at. And there also from here, you're getting lovely views. Again, to point out, because the way the development is laid out, there's plenty space between this property and the adjacent properties. So um, as you look from this, this section, you'll see it's straight on through to the walkthrough dressing area and then beyond to the ensuite. So uh, let's have a look. Again, tiled floor because of that, uh, that uh, underfloor heating, which is high comfort factor. The walkthrough dressing area, really, really nicely appointed. Plenty, plenty space you can see there. It's open plan, which I like when it's a separate area. You really can see what you have and you can see there lovely combination space for shoes, space for hanging, tall hanging, short hanging and so forth. These are important factors on into the ensuite, which is really impressive. I should also point out there's natural light into that dressing area, which helps a lot. Again, very smart. I won't say maybe his and hers, but his and his, hers and hers, theirs and theirs, vanity unit. I love to see that. And again, using mirrors to bounce the light through. Really nicely tiled as well. And a lovely, looks like a walnut vanity unit there. Then you can see around, as we look around the back, also you have your WC and separate shower. Again, a lovely view from here. This house really is laid out with the views in mind. Look, great shower appliance, shower accessories, I should say, there as well. And the tiling is fantastic. So again, you sort of, you have a real sense of distance between you and the adjacent properties, which is so important at this level of the property market. Nice little vanity unit there. So just a last little glimpse at this room. So this concludes the first floor. We've got four beds at the first floor. Now folks, we're outside and whilst we're just outside, I just want to give you an idea of the context here. So that's the back of the property. And then coming around here, we're now going to look in the garage area. Now, a lot of potential uh, questions, you know, you're gonna have a lot of interest in this. Check this out. Is that not fantastic? Let me just close that door now. As I say, very windy outside today. Look at that. It's basically been set up as a gym. Full bells and whistles, obviously. Uh, uh, equipment not included, I'm sorry to tell you. But look at the space that has been made here. Um, it's great to see multifunctional space here. You can see it's it's actually the kind of space that people could do a lot of different things with. And I have since COVID seen a lot of homes bringing their home gym into their, their gym needs and their gym pursuits into the home place. So there you see it there. Super space. Now, in terms of other potential uses that you could have off of this, and again, I give these only as suggestions and I caution that sometimes planning has to be looked into. Um, but this is a mezzanine garage. 
uh, very useful in terms of if you wanted to create some working from home space, but look for a den, especially if in this case you have lots of sports nuts in the house. They can do all their sports viewing and chatting and shouting at the screen from this absolutely fantastic space. I think it's so cleverly done. Look at this. There can be no arguing in this house over supporting one team over another because all the teams get their piece of wall. Isn't that very good? Lots of light as well, thanks to the Velux and also views of the mountain and so on. Fantastic, great big space. Also want to tell you that there is also underfloor heating in this section of the property as well, which is an important big bonus in here. We have toilet, wash hand basin, shower. Okay. And then finally in here, another room, which is storage. And then if we look out here, that's back to that green area that I pointed out to you earlier and lovely mountain view. Look, it's really gotten overcast since we were there earlier on. Now, as I say, uses for these outdoor spaces, we always do urge people to just do the research on them. But I think that this is just inspired. I would love this. And I challenge any teenager or family of various different ages that wouldn't just be madly looking for this kind of space. So listen, um, this is the detached garage er area also. So thank you so much for joining me on this virtual viewing of number five railway village. It is a spectacular home. It extends to over 350 square meters of really high specification accommodation, including, for example, um, underfloor heating throughout, um, upgraded uh, joinery and cabinetry throughout. Also, don't forget that really impressive garage area. A lot of potential there. It's set on a very large site. It's an exceptional property in the context of this neighborhood because it was built on its own rather than through the development. So therefore you get to enjoy a lot of extra features. Uh, the tiling, the finish, the light that runs through this house, it's all exceptional. Um, if you have any questions on the property, we will be delighted to answer them. If you would like to arrange a viewing in person, then of course we'll be delighted to accommodate that too. As always, if you have any questions, please do let us know and uh, perhaps we'll see you here at Railway Village in Lordship, very near to Dundalk, very soon. Thanks again for joining me.